everyone, welcome back. John here again. I was just playing a little thing you can do there to help you practice your alternate picking melodically, you know, because if you were sitting there at home doing this, doing that kind of thing, it's exceptionally boring and it, it doesn't sound too melodic. So uh, what I'm going to do today is uh, just show you a way of, of practicing this uh, melodically. I just put on a drum beat in the back there too. So if you've got garage band, you can just get a stock drum beat, drag it in, do a loop and see if you can see if you can play over the top. Because of course, you've got to try and be in time. It's all very well sitting at home, you know, do, doing this alternate picking. But sooner or later, you will actually have to play with another musician, strangely enough. So uh, here we go. Let's get on with it. See, see how we can do it. So uh, the, the best way to uh, play melodically, I think, with alternate picking is just play chords. So um, I'm playing A, F sharp, B minor, and E major. So there's the chords I'm playing when I'm playing, when I'm doing this. I am playing a chord. I know it doesn't seem like it because I'm, I'm, I'm just playing single notes, doesn't it? But I'm playing the notes from the chord and that's called the arpeggio. And I'm doing it just on one string. You know, some, usually you see uh, arpeggios kind of that, that kind of thing. But I'm playing it on just on one string and I'm just playing three notes. So uh, I'll tell you what the notes are and then I'll show you the positions. Uh, just in case you don't know the notes, but you really should learn the notes, otherwise it won't help you much. <laughs> so, first of all, the notes are for an A chord, A, which is on the 2nd fret, all right, on the G. This is all on the G string, by the way. 2nd fret, 6th fret, and the ninth fret. That's a C sharp on the 6th fret, that's, a, that's an E note on the ninth fret. Okay, so you've got... That's the notes. Right. Now, next chord we've got is F sharp minor. Now, the notes in that are, it's the relative minor on A, so it's almost exactly the same. It's A, C sharp, but this time F sharp, which is on the 11th fret of the G string. Okay, so that's... That's great. Now, the next chord we have is B minor, and the notes in that are B, D, F sharp, so it's a B on the 4th fret, D on the 7th fret, and an F sharp on the 11th fret here. Right, so that's... And the last one is an E chord, with notes are E, G sharp and B. So uh, here's a G sharp on the 1st fret, here's a B on the 4th fret, and there's an E on the ninth fret. Okay, we've played that one before for the E. Now, I don't know if you see what I'm doing there. When I'm playing these, when I play an A, then I go back to, for the F sharp, A, C sharp, F sharp, then up to the B, and then for the E. Now, what I'm doing here is, I'm not always um, starting on the root note. I'm trying to kind of stay in position. For, for the A I am, there's an A. For the uh, next chord, the F sharp, I'm starting on the next, on an A note. And the last note I play is an F sharp. So I'm trying to stay in position, you see, and this, this comes from knowing your notes in the chords. You've just got to memorize them, really. Uh, and then a B, I am starting on a B there, B, D, F sharp, and the last one, I start for the E, I start on the G sharp, B. All right. Now, what, what I'm doing here is I'm using this alternate picking technique, so alternate picking is what it says, down, up, down, up, and we're not skipping strings, which sometimes causes a problem. So if you get used to kind of doing that, wants to practice that. That's so boring. So try and implement it with these melodic little ideas. So we've we've got the A. So you can try with the A. And the F sharp. Okay, B. Now 
Now that sounds good on its own. You don't have to do this alternate picking. You could just do. You could use that for sliding. And uh, vibrato practice too. But now let's let's see if we can pick up a bit of speed. So. And if you can see my right hand here, it's not moving too much. If you can, try and, um, when you pick, uh, have the, the pick like that way, you know, so it slides off easily. So, um, okay. That's it, I know the drop. So um, after a while, obviously, um, you don't want to move too much because if you're doing this with your arm, it hurts. So you don't want too much movement. So let me just down the A. And keep it even. The other thing which is really good to practice, and this is why it helps to know your notes, is play it on other strings. So there's the A, C sharp and E. See if you can find it on the B string. And then on the E, A, C sharp, E. And see if you can practice that. And see if you can practice it on, on each of the strings. And it's really good that because it really helps you to know your fretboard uh, really well. There we are. Hope that helped. Um, think of the chords. It really does help. You know, think if you, if you picked up an acoustic guitar, you probably wouldn't go that kind of thing, you know, you'd sit there and you play some chords. So think about what chords go nicely together. It can be something really simple. And then see if you can play it all on one string with that alternate picking idea. Also, of course, you'll need to work out what the notes are in the chord. So I hope that helps. If you're not sure about the notes, you can check out my note video. And uh, by the way, do remember to subscribe. There's loads of new lessons that go up every week. There's also hundreds of lessons on here already. There's song lessons, busking, busking songs, there's great riffs, there's classic solos, and there's just guitar lessons too. <laughs> so uh, have some fun, and I'll see you soon.